Hey y'all, just got home from work and I'm going to be working on a project today that my husband and I actually started a couple of days ago, but I forgot to video it. Um, he's home today and said he would help me work on it some more and get it finished. So let me show you what that project is. So that's the house we're working on there. And there's my chickens running around free ranging. And as you can see, there's the road. And that fence is what we started on the other day that I forgot to video. So basically, it's cattle panel and tea stakes. And we have started in this corner and we are we zip tied it to the cyclone fence that's what we call them here in texas and then we have one tea stake here as you can see it's zip tied here and we've ran an orange string to the corner of the house where we want to keep in a straight line now the purpose of this little fence isn't to actually keep the chickens in because my chickens can fly. Not all chickens can, the heavier breeds cannot, but my chickens can. So this fence and that cyclone fence does not keep them in if they wanna get out. This fence is more for looks and gives me something to plant up against. As you can see, I transplanted one of the canna lilies up in front of it. Uh, this one, of course, the caterpillars have ravaged, but that's okay because that makes beautiful butterflies. So anyway, I'm going to let my husband take a little nap and then I'm going to go wake him up and we're going to get started. Want to sit tight first? Or you want to You're only putting two panels, right? What? Two panels. Two, two panels, panels per side, yes. <laughs> they actually make a post driver for the shit. But it's at an angle. What's at an angle? The pole. Remember we had the um, level the other day? 
it's at an angle like this. It's not straight up and down. Are you sure now? Come look. Come look from my angle. And then you push it off the thing. It's not going to be perfect. If you want to, yes. Yeah. Kind of hard to level something that's bent, though. I didn't get it either, it's too heavy. Close enough? Yeah, it's close enough. I think that might be good as far as being level with the other one. Works for me.
There's something in the ground there. You know, I think there used to be an old fence post there for the old cyclone fence. You're on the outside of the string and really it should be on the inside of the string like the other ones. I know, I'm not worried about that string. I'm worried about being able to go through here and not hit this pipe. Oh. A rock there. Is it tight? Is it tight? It's going to drive it down. Thought I'd lock it down. Go, move it over here. Easier said than done for you. <laughs> now, do you want me to zip tight? <coughs> zip tight now, yes, baby. I'm trying to keep it innocent too. more maybe? On, one more on each side would probably go all the way. Okay. You enjoying doing this, honey? Yeah, sure.
Uh, and we're close to it. Hard to tell what. Straight up and down? No, if I'm too close to the line or not. No. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. But I don't want this. How'd we end up with an extra stake? You said you get five? So how about five? Uh, I miscounted. Now there's definitely something there. Remember when we first moved in here, there were pole posts? Yeah, there. Out further? Yeah. Well. People out there in real life land, there's a post driver that you use for this. But Somebody's a slave driver. It's not like we're going to be doing this like for a job or often. So it would be a waste of money. So say you, when I Hey, yeah, I gotta Those go to aren't any easier to cocoon. They're a lot easier. Trust me. I've worked them. Here, hold that. Oh. Down here. So I can use both hands. You don't need me to hold that anymore. <clears throat> oh, you're dead. No, I'm not. But you still don't need me to hold it anymore. Yeah, I do. Really? Yes. It's in the ground. It moves still. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. Who's driving the hammer? No more. Oh, here's the small one now. And you're winning. I don't need you to hold it no more. You can move away. Almost done. So is that you? Here. Just one up a little bit.
have a pile over there. Or you can make a new pile. Let me zip tie this other end first. Here. I don't know if it's set right. actually see the difference between what you just did by turning it around? Yes. Oh. See the one your hand's on? Yeah, you mean because the bars are on the outside? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the OCD. Give me two. Two or three. Well, we only have so many left, so. We may have to buy some more. This is your old one. Yeah. That's all. Wow. I got one in my hand. A level? Yes, please.
break one. What are you ladies doing? The Model A tire around the orange tree right here. I had to put that there because our lawn guy kept getting way too close to the tree and every time I would put mulch around it, he'd blow the mulch all over the yard. So I had these Model A tires from work and decided to put it to good use. This tree froze during our snowmageddon this year in Texas when we all lost power. And it's coming back and my husband refuses to let me cut off any of those branches that have grown up so that we can make it into one tree. So now I guess we're going to have an orange bush. Dragonflies like it. Aren't you pretty? And that's it for the cattle panel fence. It took us less than an hour to put up the four panels. We use zip ties to hold it together. This isn't a permanent structure. It's just until we put up a six foot privacy fence. Sometime this week, I'll continue on with some plantings along the front. And we will get two more panels to fill in this gap here. And then we're gonna put an archway right in the middle so that the lawnmower can go through still. And as I like to say about this money pit that we bought to remodel, this is what we call progress. See you next time.